Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to check in for the final week of November. So we're looking at the week of the 29th of November through the 5th of December. And I'm filming this on Wednesday the 4th. Um, so I'm doing it a little bit early, but that's okay. Um, I'm just kind of ready to close out November and move on to December and everything like that. So what we're mainly looking at are these transactions over here. And I apologize for the lighting. Hopefully you guys can see okay. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but lately, um, just having a new baby and everything, the only time I can really film is early in the morning when it's still like dark outside, which is what I'm doing right now, and um, late at night. So I have my light over here, which actually I could try to move a little bit closer. Maybe that's better. <laughs> um, to try to lighten it up. I like to use natural lighting, but that's just not really been possible lately with our schedule and my husband being back at work and all that good stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to be looking at this week right here for grocery and household and gas and all that fun stuff. Um, I can already tell you, and I don't know where I put my pen. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, for cash and everything that has all been depleted so I'm just gonna go ahead and put zero because obviously we didn't have anything to spend we have nothing remaining in all of these categories so I'm just going to that um, luckily my company that I work for they gave like a little holiday bonus and it was a um, gift card. So we were able to get a gift card to like be able to eat out and stuff, which is really nice. So, okay, so grocery and household is gonna be the first thing we're gonna look at. And we definitely went a little overboard here, but we are just completely out of everything. And I'm not gonna just like not get groceries for our family and not feed us. So everything that we purchased was necessary. I didn't feel like, you know, we were frivolous frivolously spending. So it's just kind of what it was. So it was 144.78 and we only had 1883 remaining last week. So we are definitely over budget. So 144.78. Uh, 144.78 and then 18 83 so we're over budget by 125 125 so that stinks but you know it is what it is um, we got to eat we have to feed our family so I going over budget with grocery doesn't honestly bother me that that much I think I would be more bothered by us going over budget for like eating out or fun money or something like that um, grocery and household we're still trying to figure out too like how formula and diapers and all of that is going to affect us so that's definitely been a big thing um, just kind of figuring out like what the true expenses of that and all that because Maddie she was not formula fed in the beginning. She did end up getting formula for like the final two years of like um, when she was 11 and 12 months old. We were able to make it to about the nine, 10 month mark. Okay, my allergies have been so insane. Um, I need to get allergy medicine today actually. But yeah, so what I was saying was um, Maddie was formula fed when she was 11, 12 months old and she was also having solids and all that kind of stuff. And I honestly, I mean, that was so long ago. I don't remember how much we were spending on formula and um, Julia is exclusively formula fed so it's been like you know trial and error just figuring out exactly how much to buy how much we're gonna need um, what the expense is as we like try different formulas and all that kind of stuff so I sort of expected that to happen um, because the formula and the diapers are obviously coming out of this budget so yeah anyways um, so there's that and then for gas we only filled up the journey and it was $50 even. So thankfully gas will be under budget, which will help with the fact that we went over budget on groceries. So last week we had 119 remaining. That's easy math. So we have 50, 19 remaining 
for gas. Business expenses, Sarah released these really cool like 2020 annual budget um, stickers, which I loved. And I was planning on filming a annual budget, um, like financial goals and 2020 annual budget for you guys. And so I figured I would pick those up. So that was six seventy six. Um, so just a little little expense, six seven six. And we were over by one ninety six ninety one last week, which. Um, Sorry, my voice is like going out probably because it's early in the morning. But um, I put all my pocket money towards these expenses and I did a big D stash. So the money that I earned from the D stash, my pocket money kind of all covered that. So I'm not like truly over, I guess you could say, but I'm just kind of, I don't know, for simplicity's sake, I guess, just figuring out what the actual total was. So it's not entirely accurate though. So 20367 over. And then I don't think we had any unbudgeted items. No, we did not. Some of these actually, these transactions took place in December, but I just kind of clumped them all here because I, I didn't want to get confused by putting them over here and all that stuff. So anyways, um, so that takes care of that. And then we do need to add up what we have been taking out of savings. I've been doing a lot of Christmas shopping the last few days, obviously with all the sales and everything like that. Um, I also stocked up on a ton of clothes for Julia. Um, Carter's had an amazing sale. It was like 60% off of everything in their store. So that was really nice. So I um, got some like six month and nine month stuff for her for her to grow into um, for like the spring and summer because we didn't really keep many of Maddie's clothes, to be honest. Um, we weren't even sure if we were gonna have another baby. So yeah, so there's that, but got um, some really great deals there. So I was happy about that. And then I also did invest in the Taking Care of Babies program, which I've heard a ton about. It's kind of like a very gentle, like sleep, sleep, feeding schedule training program. I don't know, one of um, my friends suggested it to me after I had posted on Instagram about just like having some struggles with all those things and all that and um, she swore by it and I, I had already heard about it and heard like all these amazing things about it. So I decided to go ahead and get it and um, I'm glad I did because there's some really great tips in there and I'm just such a type A person <laughs> that I need something to follow. I need like some sort of step-by-step -step, like guide um, for things like in all aspects of my life and that's just the way I am. And I know that's not like entirely possible sometimes and you know, babies are humans. They're not clocks. They're not like, you know, and which is something that Kara says. Um, so it's not like you can be super rigid and like strict with these things, but at least it gives me some tools to like troubleshoot and to like loosely follow throughout my day to give my day some sort of like structure. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. But let's go ahead and add all that up to figure out what was taken out of savings this week. Now I did mention in a previous video, I think that we went furniture shopping and that is gonna affect our savings. Um, 137.56. Ninety-seven. So yeah, that is going to affect our savings. Sorry, I keep having to like pause <laughs> to sneeze and blow my nose and things like that, which you guys won't thankfully hear <laughs> because I'll I'll be editing obviously all that out. But um, so I keep like kind of losing track of what I've been saying. But yeah, so um, furniture, yes. So that's going to affect our savings, obviously. Um, and then we still have some Christmas shopping to do and things like that. But um, January is looking really, really good for us as far as what we're gonna be able to put into savings. Even if we were to roll nothing into um, January, we would still be in really good shape there and be off to a really strong start. Um, I am gonna be doing another D stash soon. So I'm pretty excited about that. So, um, you know, if you're not part of that Instagram 
account, I guess you could say, or group, <laughs> um, definitely make sure to join. And I will be de-stashing some more Erin Condren and Planner Kate stickers there soon. And all everything that I earn from that de-stash um, either gets like invested back into my business with something else. Obviously, I'm trying to like de-stash and simplify, so I'm not really buying a ton of stuff um, with the de-stash money. Um, or at least things that I know I'm going to use is what I would buy, but um, but it'll be going towards our emergency fund at this point, or if we get more medical bills. We've only received this one so far. I, I'm having a hard time believing that's the only one we're going to receive. I'm sure we're going to get more, um, but yeah, so so thank you in advance <laughs> um, for participating in the D-Stash. It's really fun too. It's like It's just great and fun to be able to connect with so many of you on that level and like be able to, to chat with you and get to know you more um, like in our, our DMs and stuff like that. So, okay, where am I? Oh yeah, so I was adding that up. <laughs> so 575.73 is what we have spent out of savings this week. 575.73 and I'm not gonna put the total in yet because um, I know that we're gonna be doing more Christmas shopping and all the all that kind of stuff. So um, I think I'm gonna, because our, our budget doesn't technically close out till Friday and I am also doing some returns and stuff today. So yeah, I don't wanna like total it out until I know what the final, final number actually truly is. So there's that. But, um, and then as far as cash is concerned, oh, and we had zero unbudgeted. I always kind of forget this. Oh, and this is just a little, yeah, okay. So cash envelopes, we didn't spend anything. We didn't have anything to spend. So um, not gonna be, you know, obviously looking at that today. But yeah, I think that is it for this weekly check-in. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I will be posting our November results next Wednesday, I believe. So stay tuned for that and you'll be able to see how we truly ended up doing for November. Um, it's going to be interesting kind of recon reconciling our checking account and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it, it gets a little confusing because all of our savings is in our checking account. So I probably should have like separated it. but. The problem with our bank is that you can only make six withdrawals from a savings account and then you're charged a fee. So I've kept everything in checking because we have like obviously things coming out here and there um, and I wanted to make sure we were covered. So it gets a little like hairy, but anyways, um, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.